Number 1. Steve Cohen's 14-foot preserved shark. Cost? 8 to 12 million dollars. Plenty of rich people have impressive fish tanks, but that's child's play compared to laying claim to your own pickled shark. In 2004, billionaire hedge fund manager Steve Cohen bought what just might be the world's most unique piece of contemporary art, a 14-foot tiger shark preserved with a combination of alcohol and formaldehyde. Originally purchased for $93,000 in 1992 by art mogul Charles Stachy, Cohen bought the piece, officially called the physical impossibility of death in the mind of someone living, more than a decade later for an undisclosed amount, which New York Magazine reported to be between 8 to 12 million dollars. Number 2. Mukesh Ambani's Home Cost 1 billion dollars Mukesh Ambani inherited and controls an oil empire that has earned him an estimated net worth of about $43 billion. The Indian magnate used $1 billion of that fortune to build the most expensive home in his native country and the entire world. According to Forbes, Ambani's residence is a 27-story, 400,000-square-foot skyscraper that boasts three helicopter pads and six underground parking levels. Named after the mythical island of Antilla, its amenities reportedly include a ballroom, a 50-seat theater, and nine elevators in the lobby alone. About 600 staff members are required to maintain Ambani's mega mansion. Number 3. Roman Abramovich's Superyacht Cost $1.2 billion It's no secret that yachts are key weapons in the battle for one-upmanship among the world's elite. But if boats are a competition, billionaire Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich wins, hands down. Among his toys are a Boeing 767, an ice boat, and the legendary Chelsea Football Club. The grandest possession of them all, however, is his claim to the world's largest and most expensive yacht, the Eclipse. Launched in 2010, the Eclipse boasts 6,000 square feet of living space across 11 staterooms and suites. If you miss her when she leaves port, don't worry. You can park your chopper on her three-helicopter landing pad. Need to abandon ship quickly? No sweat. The boat's three-person submarine can dive to 160 feet. Number 4. Larry Ellison's Hawaiian Island Cost $300 million For the richest of the rich, even the grandest mansion simply won't do. For Oracle founder Larry Ellison, home is the Hawaiian island of Lanai which he picked up in 2012 for a cool $300 million, according to CNBC. His tropical paradise includes 90,000 acres, two Four Seasons resorts, and a town with a population of 3,200. Considering a stay in one of these resorts, you'll certainly vacation in luxury, but it will cost you $21,000 a night. Number 5. Prince Alawid bin Tahal's Airbus A380 Flying Palace Cost? at least $500 million. Membership in the Saudi royal family's inner circle certainly has its perks. Prince Alawid bin Tahal, for example, already owned a $220 million Boeing 747-400, but in his world, that's small potatoes. In 2007, he paid $319 million for an A380 double-decker super jumbo jet, the world's largest passenger aircraft. He ordered upgrades including space for his horses and two Rolls-Royce cars that sent the sticker price soaring past $500 million. Before it was even ready, however, he sold his newest toy to an undisclosed buyer. Number 6. William Koch's Billy the Kid Photo Cost $2.3 million William Koch is not who we typically think of when we refer to the Koch brothers. Charles and David Koch are the billionaire brother duo famous for their Coke Industries empire and massive political influence. William is, however, a third extremely wealthy Coke brother, who's also a big-time buff of Wild West history. In 2011, he scooped up the gem of the genre when he paid $2.3 million for the world's only authenticated photograph of legendary outlaw Billy the Kid. Number 7. Kevin Griffin's Pair of Paintings Cost $500 million Ken Griffin, hedge fund billionaire, is a known art aficionado, but the jewel of his collection is a pair of abstract impressionist paintings he bought at the same time at auction, one by Willem de Kooning and the other by Jackson Pollock. In total, 
he dropped half a billion dollars on the purchase, which the Chicago Tribune called one of the largest private art deals ever. Number 8. Bill Gates Scientific Scribbles by Leonardo da Vinci Cost $30 million Bill Gates and Leonardo da Vinci have a lot in common. They're both math geniuses who also changed history. It's only fitting, then, that the Microsoft founder would be interested in the musings of the original Renaissance man. In 1994, Gates spent $30.8 million to own the Codex Lester, a 72-page manuscript that da Vinci compiled in the early 16th century, complete with the master polymaths diagrams, writings, sketches, and ideas for future inventions. Number 9. The Sultan of Brunei's Car Collection Cost $5 billion It's good to be a Sultan. Need proof? Just take a look at the collection of cars owned by the Sultan of Brunei, who rules a country smaller than the state of Delaware. His legendary fleet contains between 5,000 and 7,000 of the world's rarest, finest, best performing, and most expensive cars, which top speed values at a combined $5 billion, at least. Among the finest gems are 21 Lamborghinis, 452 Ferraris, and 604 Rolls Royces, including the Star of India, a $14 million Rolls convertible that has the distinction of being the world's most expensive car. Number 10. Prince Hans Adam II's Fancy Furniture Cost $36 million In 2004, Prince Hans Adam II of the tiny nation of Liechtenstein dropped $36 million on a piece of furniture that you probably won't find in Ikea. Dating to the 18th century, the Florentine ebony piece known as the Badminton Cabinet is adorned with precious stones like lapis lazuli, agate, and amethyst quartz. When the prince bought the chest, the purchase broke its own record. The Badminton Cabinet was already the world's priciest piece of furniture after selling for $16.59 million in 1990. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for content just like it.